the universe. It's mystifying. Our universe is comprised of three things, time, space, and rock and roll. My name is Time Cop. I'm the Time Cop. And this is my rock and roll space odyssey. I work for an interdimensional police force called the Federation. It's my job to stop criminals from committing time crimes and time-related crimes. These two here are my partners and best friends, Rock Cop and Space Cop. Rock and roll will never die! Radical! There are lots of us cops employed by the Federation, but none quite as important as us. Yeah, but the stiffs that run the place don't give us the recognition we deserve. The three of us close more high-profile cases than the rest of the Federation combined. The year is 1983. Everybody's starting to get the hang of this whole fashion thing, and time crime and time-related crimes are at an all-time high. Little did we know that the biggest case we'd ever see was just around the corner. You wanted to see me? You're late. And? You'd think punctuality would be important to a time cop. Come on. I'm just asking for a little more professionalism from you. Oh, please. What? I know you, Nancy. I know you weren't the least bit concerned with professionalism. You act all high and mighty, but I see the way you act around Space Cop. The Federation has rules, and if you're not going to follow them, neither am I. My friendship with Space Cop is none of your concern. None of my concern? Like hell, it's none of my concern. Space Cop is my partner. I need him sharp when we're on duty. If he starts spacing out, it's my ass on the line too. I don't need you distracting him. Let's just cut to the chase, shall we? Sit down, Time Cop. I said sit. Budget cuts, isn't it? Yes, Time Cop. I'm sorry, you know how it is. I know how it is. It's why it is that I don't get. You and your partners are the best cops this Federation has ever seen. Exactly. Which is why we're cutting funding from your departments. You three are exceeding expectations while others are falling behind. Look, I trust you. I know the time department can thrive without the funding it's been receiving until now. Every quarter you cut our funding. What am I supposed to do? Sit here and let you bleed me dry? I can't do my job without that money. Look, time cop, the decision has already been made. My hands are tied. Who? Who what? The money. Who's the money going to? What department? You know that I can't tell you. You look me dead in the shades and tell me who gets my money. Most of it is going to the ocean department. Of course. Of course, it's that slimy, wretched sailor dog. What does Ocean Cop need the money for anyway? It's not like she does anything important. What's she gonna do? Buy more nets and dinghies? Come on, all she does is play with starfish all day. Ocean Cop hasn't hit her quota in months. So she gets more money? <sighs> it's to help her. Catch up and recuperate losses. Whatever, I don't have time for this. I'm out of here. I won't forget about this, Nancy. What happened in there? Let's catch a beef, brother. You're not gonna believe this, boys. She's done it again. <clears throat> She's done it again. Budget cuts? Tell me it ain't budget cuts, Time Cop. Of course it's budget cuts. Ah, oh, that's it. I've had it with that woman. I cannot deal with her anymore. Oh, what? You'll quit? Where will you go instead? Well, I'll... I'll go on tour! <laughs> you say that every time you'll never go through with it. It's not important. We need to prepare for the worst. What happens if, if our equipment breaks? Where am I gonna get a new clock? What if my telescope breaks? This is the most powerful telescope in the universe. I can't just repair it on my own. Plus, how am I gonna scope out killer babes without it? <laughs> Does she really think the universe will be safe without rock and roll? And the worst part is, she's giving all of our money to that rat, Ocean Cop. Unbelievable. Hold on, boys. I've got it. Let's poke holes in our boat. Hell yeah. <laughs> Going somewhere, you landlubbers? Uh, we saw you coming and decided we'd leave. We didn't want to risk catching uh, scurvy. <laughs> Scurvy isn't contagious, you yellow belly. Yeah, well, that's what someone trying to spread scurvy would say. Ah, what would any of you know? None of you's got your sea legs. Sea legs? 
What good are legs gonna do you underwater? That ain't what sea legs mean, you scabby sea bass. Oh, go suck on some limes, you salty siren. Yeah, shove it up your blowhole. I'll show you where you can stuff those drumsticks of yours. These ain't any good for stuff, and trust me, I've tried. Besides, haven't you got anything more important to do than chat with us land lovers? Matter of fact, I got me a meeting with the Federation leader. Mm. Says she's got good news for me. Yeah, enjoy your new jet ski. What are you on about now? I've already been in to talk to her today. She's cutting all of our budgets and funneling the money straight to yours. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's rich! That's rich! And now so am I! <laughs> Get out of here! Oi, I'm going. Done with ease anyway. All right, so uh, what about poking holes in her boat? <laughs> Hell yeah, get to it, boys. I hear there's good news. Well, not all good. What do you mean? I was just Yes, you're getting a budget increase. <laughs> but it's not a reward. What? It's a bailout. What? You're no good at your job. You aren't meeting your quotas, and it's become evident that you're on island time when you should be on my time, on the Federation's time. Ah, but you forget. <laughs> it's always five o'clock somewhere. Not here it isn't. You're on thin ice. Federation officers are on call 24-7, even at five o'clock. Arg. I would kill for a margarita right now. I would too, but I'm not going to because of my job. I expect the same from you. This increase to your budget isn't for you to play around with. It's to provide you with an extra safety net so that we can hopefully see an increase in the quality of your work. All right, all right, you've made your point. First things first is I'll buy a new dinghy. <laughs> it's about time. Like they say, a house is not a home without a good dinghy. Are we done here? I best be setting off. Those sea punks won't throw themselves in the brig. Alas, farewell, sea cowboy. Ah, I can smell the sweet ocean breeze from here. Oh, you forgot your hat, sailor. Going somewhere, crab legs? I'm setting off. I'm going to fight some ocean crime. Hope your crab legs help you with that. Do you mean sea legs? Those words don't even make sense in that order. How'd your meeting go, Bilge Rat? Fine enough. I'm gonna buy me a new dinghy. Huh. Hmm. You're gonna need one. Oh no. <laughs> what did you idiots do? See for yourself. Me boat! What have you done to her? Kick some holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> With our sea legs. You stranded me! I'll make sure you're sleeping with the fishes tonight. All right, you're going to fight all three of us at once? On what planet is that a good idea? Yar! What's all the ruckus in here for? Oh, Lord, it's digital cop. I, I mean, why all the fighting? Uh, did she spill salt water on your records again? No, no, thank God. As much as I hate E3, I hate him even more. Agreed. He's bad on the eyes. And ears. Sinuses, all, all senses, really. What did I ever do to you guys? Nothing to us, personally. Your existence is just horrid. That's all. I don't really think that's fair. I mean, I really like you guys. Oh, you're so cool. Of course you do. Everybody loves me, baby. What's the matter with you? Where to start? What are you doing here, Digital Cop? I have a meeting with the Federation leader. Oh, budget cuts, hopefully. Pink slip would be better. I think it's a promotion. <laughs> I'm serious, I've been doing really good lately. <laughs> How many perps did you bag this month? Well, four. <laughs> <laughs> you call that really good? I mean, oh compared to the last couple months, it's great. It's a wonder you still have this job. <laughs> you all are just jealous. <coughs> so excuse me, I have a very important meeting to attend. Run along then, shrimp. Thank God, I thought that nerd would never leave. He's got to beat him up for his lunch money. Oh, he just sucks so bad. You suck so bad. I have never seen an officer with performance numbers this low before. I am astonished you are capable of being so bad at this job. Tell me one good reason why I shouldn't fire you right now. I'm also the IT guy. Shit, it'd take me forever to find a new one. Fine, you can stay, but one more slip up and you're out of here. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Great, now get out of my office. Oh, great, the nerd is back. Yeah, Stevens, get her off! 
what happened? I was gone for three minutes. The hag threw the first punch. She's seasick in the head. It's pretty pathetic. I can hold me own against the three of these, don't you think? <laughs> Hell yeah, rock and roll will never die. <laughs> Stay back or this walking kidney disease gets it. Get off him, give him some space. <laughs> Why are you guys fighting? Is this, is this over the budget cuts or is it just to fight? I mean, don't you see how pointless this is? Why are you making your workplace a hostile environment? You don't have to get along, but at least be civil. I mean, my God, this is so petty. I, I may not be as good at my job as the rest of you guys, but at least I don't cause trouble. I guess what I'm trying to say is, we all have to get along, beep boop. He's right. Yeah, we do all have to get along, beep boop. I suppose being friendly with each other is better than where we're at now. Damn right. One love, brother. You know, computer man, you're all right. How'd things go with the boss? Oh, not well. Um, she almost fired me. Oh, well, she's not wrong, too. Listen, if you want to keep your job, you just got to try harder. You got to rough up a few more criminals, maybe a few bystanders. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you're right. I'm, I'll do better. I'll, I'll try harder. Maybe someday I'll be as cool as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, one thing at a time, bud. <laughs> oh. My name is Tools McKenzie. I'm the Tools McKenzie. I'm head of some sort of crime syndicate. This is my right hand, or should I say right spoon woman, spoon hands. I got spoons for hands. Now I'm just your average handyman. I love tools and I love working with my hands. But I'm also a crazy bastard. I love to murder and sell drugs. Spoon hands here and I met years ago and immediately decided to do crimes together. Right now, we're devising a plan to plant some underwater hyperspace speakers that play country music in a rock zone that opens a portal back in time because crime was easier to get away with. I mean, when was the last time you heard of a new serial killer? Anyway, Intel tells me that there's a group of interdimensional police called the Federation. And this little plan of ours breaks laws that all their top officers oversee. So. I've decided to ramp up security around here, so I've decided to hire the Riddle Master to lead our security detail. Riddle me this. How many sides does a circle have? That's not even a riddle. Two! The inside and the outside! This won't get old. Anyway, Intel tells me to be particularly cautious of someone known as Time Cop. She and her partners fight time crimes and time-related crimes, which is exactly the type of crimes that we're committing here. I'd like to see those pigs try to stop us. She'd have to get past me first, and she can't because I have a gun. Oh, shit! Watch where you're pointing that thing. Riddle me this. What travels the world but never moves? Would you put that thing away? Wrong! A postage stamp! Let's talk for a minute. Riddle Master, okay? We've been over this. The gun is only for emergencies. Hmm. You're no fun, you know. All work and no play makes tools, well, boring. Play? A gun is not a toy. We may be criminals, but gun violence is taking it too far. I only want you using that thing if Time Cop and her goons show up. I want to go undetected for as long as possible. That thing should be neither seen nor heard of until then. Fine. I'll do as you say. For now. But my riddles shan't be stopped. Oh, wonderful. What bleeds but cannot be killed? I think you should leave. A radiator! But enough about me. Tell me, Tools, how did you get into the crime business? Well, my father was a stern but caring man. He was a handyman, and his father was a handyman, and his father was as well. I was practically born with bolt cutters in my hands. As I mentioned before, I'm a crazy bastard, which predisposed me to the involvement in violent and nonviolent crime. As a teenager, I started running drugs for a gang in the city. 
Initiation was to kill a man however I saw fit, which is how I found out I am really good at killing people with common household tools. Hammers, ratchets, screwdrivers, you name it. Eventually, I climbed the ranks of this gang. Since then, I turned it to the pseudo-successful syndicate that it is today. God, you really will just keep talking. Along the way, I met old Spoon Hands here. She was on the streets, cold and alone with spoons for hands. I took one look at her and knew that I had to help. So obviously, I got her involved in crime. A truly virtuous man. Eventually, she became my number two, my most trusted ally. Impressive how far she's come, all things considered. Two things, really. I and am an inspiration, yes. And here we are, the two of us pulling off our biggest job yet. And with you at our disposal, Riddle Master, nothing can stop us. Not Time Cop, not her friends, not even the entire Federation can bring me, Tools McKenzie, down. Soon, we will be back in time and crime is easier, and we'll be rich! Aren't you worried that Time Cop might follow us back in time? <laughs> she can try all she wants, but it will be the last thing she ever does. <laughs> Me and my, uh, gun! Oh, <laughs> Make sure of that! Another dream. Nancy, I've, I've had another dream. Oh? Another one of your famous prophetic dreams? What about this time, Dream Cop? A, a wicked man. He was tool obsessed and had poor posture. His henchman was a woman with spoons for hands. Ridiculous. He said he was the leader of some kind of crime syndicate. He planned to place underwater hyperspace speakers to play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. I believe this man to be incredibly dangerous. Any specifics? Where they might be located? It's still hazy. I've just woken up. Figures. Shame these dreams of yours aren't more useful. I'm sure one will come back to me. I remember there was a, a third person there, a, a woman. She had a gun. Oh shit. A gun? Our sensors have been detecting an unusually high amount of gun activity lately. They made a big deal about her not using it though, so I doubt it would show up on there. Well, right here we have a both big spike in gun activity and riddles. Riddles? Yes, that's it. The Riddle Master was the third person there, and my god, was she annoying. But she had a gun. I see. I was afraid of this. You know this Riddle Master? We have a, um, a history, yes. Uh, that's not important right now. These criminals are on the move, and we need to strike first. You're going on recon. Will I be going alone? No. It's too risky. Time cop! What? What now? Hey, Dream Cop. Hey. You have a mission, Time Cop. Oh, goody. You're going on reconnaissance. Some sort of crime syndicate is planning on planting underwater hyperspace speakers to play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. They're what? Uh, <clears throat> I need you two to infiltrate their base, learn as much as you can, and report back here. Do not get detected. The old sneak and freak. Precisely. All right, sounds easy enough. Where's their base? Atlantic City? Damn it! Is there a problem with Atlantic City? Of course there's a problem with Atlantic City. Care to explain? No, this is just setting up for a punchline in the second act. Are you two still here? It's time to get a move on. Stop talking and start walking. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Time cut? What? I want you to keep an eye on him. I don't want to alarm you, but I fear he may be a loose cannon. What? Dream Cop. A loose cannon? Shh. He couldn't be. We went to the academy together. Quiet down, you idiot. Do you want the whole Federation to hear you? Hear me? Are you hearing yourself? I may not work with Dream Cop often, but I know him. You know that nobody likes to cry loose cannon more than me, but we can trust Dream Cop. This is an order, Time Cop. Regardless of what you think, I want you to watch him. Yeah, yeah. Every step he takes. As you wish, your majesty. I know you're being sarcastic, but I am damn majestic. Now go, leave my sight.
This looks like the place. Quiet, time cop. This is a stealth mission. Shh, I think someone's coming. Tell me, Spoon Hands, just how did you end up with spoons for hands? For the last time, I don't want to tell you about it. Oh, come on. I told you about how I got into riddles. It wasn't a very interesting story. I saw the two of them in my dream. I really thought you were lying for attention this whole time. Someone's projecting. Plus, the story of my spoon hands is very personal. I felt a lot of pain where my hands used to be. You can't just keep such a juicy story to yourself. Don't hold out on me, spoon hands. Projecting? Me. Hold on as time cop. Shut up, you blow off cover. I've only known you for a week. How close we've gotten already. I'm not telling you. I may come from a broken home. I may be an attention-seeking sociopath. You simply must, or I'll start telling you riddles. That's not gonna work. But I am not a liar. Did you hear something? What is something that's easy to see, but hard to look at? Oh my god, not right now. The sun! You're insufferable. She is terrible. Big time. I like the one with spoons for hands, though. There's more where that came from. No, thank you. Then tell me how you got those spoons for hand spoon hands. <sighs> All right, fine. Oh, goody. It was years ago, in the war. Which war? Pick your pick. Spanish-American. <sighs> there was a terrible accident. My memory's a little hazy. Something happened. There was an explosion. I was lucky the only thing that I lost was my hands. But what about the spoons? How did you get the spoons? The paramedics panicked. I was bleeding out of where my hands used to be. They didn't have any hand transplants laying around, so they did what they could. I woke up bawling, burying my face in my, my spoons. You know what they told me? What's that? They said they honestly thought that I wouldn't notice. How could I not? It's the first thing everyone notices! So, you lost your hands in the war, and the doctors thought you wouldn't notice if they replaced them with spoons? Yes. Unbelievable! I don't hear any work being done. Those underwater hyperspace speakers that play country music and rock zone to open a portal back in time won't set themselves up. I saw him too. I think he's in charge here. Sorry, boss. Spoon Hands was just telling me the story of the time she lost her hands. Oh, the one where she lost her hands in the war and the doctors thought that she wouldn't notice if they replaced them with spoons. <laughs> that one. Aw, oh, cheer up, pal. I'm not mad at you guys. My hands are just a sore spot for me. Why is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope that you get well, Spoon. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna recover from this one. Not with that attitude, you're not. You gotta keep your chin up. It's hard to keep anything up with these hands. N no, your chin, like this. Man, life sure is rough when you've got spoons for hands. Look on the bright side. Things could be worse. They could have put the spoons on backwards. Could you possibly have a little bit of sensitivity about this? More sensitivity than your Fingers? <laughs> yeah, who bent your spoons? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Hey, everybody, let's point and laugh at the girl who's got spoons for hands. <laughs> <laughs> who was that? You idiot. Are you trying to get us caught? I couldn't help myself. I mean, she told me to do it. Oh, shit, a gun. Oh, God damn it! I keep forgetting that you have that thing. And who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? I'm a big fucking deal, that's who. Who the hell are you? Big fucking deal. I'm a big fucking deal. In fact, I'm the biggest fucking deal there is. That's not mathematically possible. Tell us who you are or I'll shoot. You shoot and I'll throw my clock at you. <laughs> okay, shit. My name is Time Cop. I'm the Time Cop. And this is my rock and roll space odyssey. <laughs> Time cop, huh? I didn't expect you here so soon. 
Had I known you were coming, I'd have tidied up the place. No, oh, please, it's lovely. I have a beautiful- Don't talk when I'm talking! Tell me, Time Cop, just how did you find us? Our sensors detected a lot of gunshots and riddles in the area. Gunshots and... Seriously? We'll be talking about this later. And the Federation sent you here alone then, Time Cop? No. God damn it, Time Cop. Blame Nancy. She knows I'm no good at recon. Nancy? Who's this then? My name is Dream Cop. I'm the Dream Cop. <laughs> Dream cop? <laughs> what, are you tired all the time? You have no idea. Well, I suppose that you two pigs are here to arrest me. Reconnaissance. We're here to collect info and report back with probable cause. Bureaucratic nonsense. Spoonhands, Riddle Master, lock them up. Yes, boss. Ah! Oh! That's why you always wear shades. No! My idiot henchman! I think it's time to go. Obviously. Do you, uh, do you think one bicep is bigger than the other? Hello? What? Sorry, did you say something? God, yeah. Got in here. Uh, check this out. Damn it, my paperwork! Use your shirt to soak up the spill! No! We'll do something! Whoa! Shit, put your shirt on! Daddy's got intel. Hey. Hello. Hey, time cop. Oh, hey. So, uh, why are you carrying Dream Cop? Oh, he fell asleep in the car. What a sweetheart. Time cop, welcome back. What do you have to report? What's, what's happened here? Uh, whatever do you mean? Uh, <gasps> you two were boning, weren't you? No, of course not. Space cop, is that true? Well, we... No, we wouldn't. Not in my office. I'll see for myself. Oh, come on. I'm not an idiot. Something clearly happened in here. T Time cop, nothing happened. Honest. Really? Well, something was probably going to happen. Tin roof rusted. Rock <laughs> cop! What's up, brother? Space cop. Space cop is trying to bone the boss. You. Huh? Unbelievable. Tom cop, why are you afraid of sex? What? I... Or is it commitment, love, intimacy? Why are you? Space cop, stand down. You report, time cop. I hope to hear some good news. What a sweetheart. Damn it. We were supposed to do the report together. We had a whole song and dance planned. Your findings? Yeah, yeah, fine. So, Tools McKenzie is the boss of some sort of crime syndicate. They're operating out of Atlantic City. He plans on planting underwater hyperspace speakers to play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time because crime was easier to get away with back then. He also had these two Idiot henchman, but one of them, the Riddle Master, she had a gun. Shit! I know! And the other one was a woman named Spoon Hands. She had spoons for hands. Why? She lost them in the war. Apparently, the doctors thought she wouldn't notice if they replaced them with spoons. Which war? Take your pick. Oh, 1812. Perfect. Apparently, she was homeless until Tools McKenzie brought her in and led her down a life of crime. See, this is why we ought to give those vets homes. Anyways, let's see. Underwater hyperspace speakers that play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. Underwater... Ocean Cup! Hi! Hyperspace... Space Cup? Already here. Speakers... Digital Cup! Weep! To play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. Rock Cup! Time Cup! Hey. I'm sending you five on a mission to put a stop to Tools McKenzie and whatever sort of crime syndicate he's running. Why? He's planning on planting underwater hyperspace speakers to play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. What? It... Look, I know you two have had your difficulties in the past, 
but I need you to set that aside and focus on the task at hand. Will you do that for me? I would rather work with insect cop than that scurvy bag. I'm not too pleased about it either. Hey, we all have to get along. Beep boop. Shut up, you Melvin. No, he's right. We do all have to get along, beep boop. Perfect. You have 24 hours to prepare an offensive. We'll get going. Hell oh yeah! yeah! God, my life is great. I'm the head of the most powerful organization in the universe. And the best part is, I don't even have to do any work. Not to mention, I can have my pick out of any of these super toned and cut cops who are all eager to do as I say. All except Time Cop, that is. I wonder what her problem is. I mean, clearly it's not this. I'm a killer, babe. Maybe Space Cop is right. Maybe it's cowardice. Oh, did I miss the report? Time Cop and I had a whole song and dance planned. Where is everybody? Oh, you're still here? The others are all getting ready for the mission. Oh, I'd better start preparing too then. No need. What? You're not assigned to this case. Not assigned to this case? I'm the reason we found this case. Which is why I sent you on recon with Time Cop. The mission itself doesn't pertain to you. How do you figure that? Let's see. Underwater hyperspace speakers that play country music in a rock zone to open a portal back in time. Do you hear anything about dreams in there? Well, no. And don't you already have other cases you should be working on? Well, yes. Then why aren't you? I understand where you're coming from, but... But what? I feel like I should be on this case. Enough with this insubordination, Dream Cop. You aren't on this case. That's all there is to it. You'll fail without me. Uh, stop it. This Federation works a certain way. You can't just assign yourself to any case you want. You know, Nancy, you haven't changed at all. How so? You've always been all about the rules, even since the Academy. The Academy? You remember that far back? Like it was yesterday. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Jackie. How's things? Radical. <laughs> Rockin'. What a time to be alive. All of us. Here. At Cop Academy. Hell yeah. That's great. So what are you boys up to after cop class today? We're gonna go shoot guns at the moon. Hell yeah. Guns? You know cops aren't allowed to have guns. We're not cops yet. <laughs> yeah, nothing bad will ever happen to me because of a gun. You guys should take your cop studies more seriously. Okay. Nerd. <laughs> Sleep nerd. Oh, it's that other nerd. Computer nerd. Oh. Hey. Shut up, nerd. Get out of here, nerd. Nerd. OK. You guys should be nicer to him. I mean, he sucks really bad. But you should be the bigger person. <laughs> no thanks. Hey, nerds. Uh, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> OK. Nerd. <laughs> Damn it. I am not a nerd. Sure thing. Nerd! <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't stand her. She's so mean. Wow, a taste of your own medicine. You got what you deserved there. Unbelievable. You've all got it out for me. Come on, boys, let's bail. Rock and roll will never die. Are you stupid? I told you so many times not to fire that gun. I told you it would attract unwanted attention. Jesus Christ, man. Shit, the pigs know where we're heading out now. They're not gonna stop coming. They'll come back, there'll be even more of them, and we'll be outnumbered. You've ruined the operation. You've ruined me, you've ruined my reputation. I didn't know somebody could fuck up as bad as you have. You've really thrown a wrench in my plans. When the cops come back, you're going to be on the front line. I hope you have enough gun practice in because you're going to need it. Oh my god, I am so mad. Am I effectively expressing how mad I am? Because I am so mad. Spoonhands, though, she is disappointed. That poor girl expected more from you. She had her heart set on this mission going well because, you know, she doesn't have much else going for her in life. Hey! She has spoons for hands, for Christ's sake. You know how hard it is to, to open jars when you have spoons for hands? If this mission succeeds, she could pay someone else to open her jars for her. 
Don't fuck this up. If not for me, then do it for her. And don't piss me off. I have a wench, you wench. Are you done yet? Are you? I'd like to be. I can keep going. Please don't. Seriously, I am so mad. It is indescribable how upset I am. Not only were you firing your gun off when I told you not to, your riddles are terrible. Mm. I can't stand to hear you speak because I know that there's a risk of some shitty riddle spilling out of your slack-jawed mouth. I know. I can use my socket wrench to tighten your mouth shut. We found ourselves in a real Chekhov's gun scenario here. Because if you don't kill at least one of those cops with that thing, I am going to kill you with whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Threatening gun violence is so unlike you, Tools. I know. You're right. I'm just, I'm so mad. I had a flawless plan. We would have been better off without you and your riddles. You're coming unhinged. Please, just go back to the tools I've always known. You may insult me. You may insult my skills. You may insult my intelligence. But I will not stand here and allow you to insult my riddles. Without my riddles, I am nothing. Half of them aren't even riddles. They're jokes. You think I'm just going to use my best riddles anytime? I save the good ones for special occasions. Okay, prove it. Show us your best riddles. Fine. Riddle me this. What could become more useful once you break it? I can already tell this isn't a riddle. Wrong! It's chopsticks! How is the worst one yet? You two are just jealous. Of? You know you could never tell a riddle as great as I can. That's not something I care about. I hope you're ready. For? The cops. Have you not been listening? Not really. I don't take well to negative reinforcement. You better leave before I do something you regret. Oh, please. I'm the one here with a gun. Jesus Christ! Please, leave us alone for ten minutes. Don't have to tell me twice. I just did. Hey, they're there. Look, things could be worse. How? You could have spoons for hands. True. You are a woman of incredible patience, Spooner. I know. Now cheer up. Just because the cops are after us doesn't matter. Because there's no way we can lose to them now. How do you figure that? Because your tools, McKinsey. You're the best there is. And you've never lost a fight in your life. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 So pick yourself up and let's get ready to fight some pigs. Yar, what the hell is taking Nancy so long? So I went out with this total killer babe last night. I'm talking supernova. Yeah? How'd you land that? Shined up my old brown shoes, put on a new shirt, took the shirt back off, and the uh, rest is history. How about you? Anything new? Speed dating. I win every time. Hell yeah. What about you, time cop? What? Oh, I... <laughs> uh, hey, digital cop. What does that book say? <laughs> Press control P to print. Control P? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish. Oh, great. You're all already here. Sorry I'm late. I had another matter to attend to. Weird. You'd think punctuality would be important to our fearless leader. Aha, uh -huh. very funny, time cop. All right, take a seat. Let's talk tactics. I did some hacking, and I found out that Tools McKenzie's base has no defenses other than the Riddle Master. There's no guards or anything? Nope, just the three people we already know about. There's only three of them? That seems a bit too easy. Well, don't forget, the Riddle Master does have a Gun. Shit! I am not ready to deal with a gun. All this talking is making me thirsty. What do you all drink? Scotch. Rum. Whiskey. Vodka. Milk. Gotcha. It is suspicious, though. It shouldn't be that simple. Bust in there and throw three rapscallions in the brig and call it a day? They must have something up their sleeve. Mm, they probably don't. On recon, I was overall unimpressed. I think we may even be able to style on them. Style? Yeah, do some cool tricks. You know, stuff that only works on idiots. <gasps> you know what we should do? Absolutely not. Don't even think about it. Come on! What? 
The pyramid of cops. No, time cop, it's too risky. But these guys are nothing. It'd be so cool. The pyramid of cops is a forbidden maneuver. You, you can all get seriously bummer. hurt. You're not doing it. That's all there is to it. Let's just come up with a simple and safe strategy that we can use. Well, it's obvious. The Riddle Master will obviously be on their front line since she has a gun. So I'll distract her with some sick licks on my guitar. And I'll flank her and catch her in me net. Once that's taken care of, Digital Cop and I can corner Spoon Hands. And, and since she has spoons for hands, there's no way she could take the both of us at once. That just leaves me and Tools McKenzie. A one-on-one -on -one fight. Ought to be a hell of a time. Are you all ready? It's about time to get going. Hell yeah! yeah! Then get going. Uh, hey, hold up a sec, boys. What's up, brother? I know we talk a big game, but we still need to be careful. They have a gun. Of course. I'm the carefulest guy there is. It's just that if anything happened to you two, I don't know what I would do. Hey, there's nothing to worry about. You two are like brothers to me. Quit it. It's just like I always say. Rock and roll will never die. Right. Now let's go kick some criminal ass! Hell yeah! Get in the time car! Hell yeah! Shotgun! Computer man, you sit in the trunk. A score! Let's go. Come on, old girl, it's only a two hour drive to Atlantic City. Yes! There we go! Hi! I have to go to the bathroom. Oh my god, here we fucking go. Why didn't we take me boat? I get seasick. Man, it is getting kind of hot in here. <laughs> bathroom. Oh my god, would everyone stop yelling? I can't see. We're going to the sea? Oh, shove it up your blowhole. Oh, now my seatbelt is chafing. Bathroom. What is going on back there? You should have just gone in the last dimension. Ooh, turn it up. Bathroom. Shut up! Ah! 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 How long have I been driving? Ah. Like three minutes. Don't you have an internal clock? My bones hurt. Ah. You're saltier ah. than the day, ah. lad. Ah. My teeth are bleeding. What is going on? So help me God, I will turn this car back in time. Use it, go! I think I'm getting land sick. I want to listen to the dad. The bathroom. Everybody out. <laughs> Digital cop, go to the bathroom. Ocean cop, you sit in the trunk. Rock cop, in the back with space cop. And Digital cop will sit up front with me. Ooh, it smells like batteries back here. Uh, digitize me, Captain. Now, can we please just get through the rest of this drive in silence? Please. <laughs> you know, it's funny. What? <laughs> the budget cut. Oh, I'll kill you! Ugh. We, we all have, have to get, get along, along. Beep, beep boop. boop.
here. The jig is up, Tools McKenzie. You're under arrest for time violation. You're under arrest for rock violation. You're under arrest for space violation. You're under arrest for ocean violation. You're under arrest for digital violation. Hell oh, yeah! yeah! Get him, boys! Oh shit, again! They come ah! boys! Oh, we're cornered, what do we do? Damn it, we really weren't ready for this. Any bright ideas, time cop? There's only one thing we can do. You don't mean. That's right. The pyramid of cops. Come on, go, go, go. Hey, what are you ass assholes doing? Shut up, you tool. Hell yeah, get to it. Come on. Hell yeah, charge! Oh no, the pyramid of cops. <laughs> We've got you surrounded, Time Cop. Well, let's all just think about this before we do anything that we'll regret. Isn't it too late for that? Do you not regret coming here in the first place? Well, since you're all here, let's have a little chat. You kids smoke what you smoke. Marlboro. Monte Cristo. Reefer. Reefer. Milk. On the rocks. Spoon hands, get the man a glass of milk of with course. ice. So tell me, Time Cop, why did you become a police officer? Is, is this what you hope to achieve? I guess I never really had a choice. I always just did what my father expected of me. You know, we're not so different, you and I. I got it! Got it! No! Damn it, Spoon Hands! Now! Ah! Run, boys, scatter! No! They're getting away! Get up, you two! I think you broke a rib. Get up! What happened? They got away. I got, they, I got distracted by you dropping the milk and they got out. Oh God, I really messed this one up, didn't I? I'll say. You've had these spoons for hands for years now. How are you not used to holding things with them? I'm sorry, Tools. It was an accident. I tripped. No excuses. You messed up and they got away when we had them cornered. Would you say you're upset? Of course I'm upset. We were so close. Hey now, Tools, there's no use in crying over spilled milk. That's it. We're a soy milk family now. The Pyramid of Cups. Are you insane? You all could have been killed. In my defense, it looked pretty damn cool. Until we all fell. I had a great time. I have no choice but to deem you all loose cannons. Loose cannons? There must be some mistake. Nothing we do is ever good enough for you, is it? I'd like to see you try to police the space-time continuum on your own. I don't even know what to say to you right now. I specifically told you that the pyramid was off limits. You have demonstrated a complete disregard for standard procedure. The Federation will not stand for such blatant insubordination. I'm afraid I have to let you all go. What? No, this job is all I have. I, ju I just did what Time Cop told me to. What about Tools McKenzie? Tools McKenzie will be taken care of. You will all be swiftly replaced. <laughs> replaced? Me. Despite what you may think, Time Cop, other people are just as capable as you. Bullshit. This isn't fair. It was the heat of the moment. No, you abandoned the plan at the first sign of trouble and used a forbidden tactic. Hand in your weapons. You're going to regret this. And now you're shades. Our shades? You want us to give you our shades? Not happening. You'll have to pry them off of my cold, dead body. You'll have better luck finding Davy Jones' locker than getting these from me. I'd like to keep mine as well. Hand them over. I won't ask again. Bail! Scatter!
Well, it's been about a month now since the five of us were let go. I'm depressed, I think. I lost my only source of income, so I've been living out of the time car. I'm just lucky I still have my shades. I haven't seen the others since that fateful day. I have nothing to fill my days, so I'm just floating, adrift in the vast sea of space-time. I live an empty life. Without my job, I have no purpose. Whenever I look into the rearview mirror, all I see is a stranger. I'm not a person anymore. All I am is dust in the wind. Jackie? What? Who's, who said that? Jackie, it's me, Father Time. Dad, what are you doing here? Listen, Jackie. Stop calling me that. That's not my name anymore. Right. Time Cop. The Federation needs you. Your friends need you. What? Tools McKenzie is still on the loose. His some sort of crime syndicate is growing in power as we speak. So? Nancy assured us that the Federation could handle it and that we'd all be swiftly replaced. She was wrong, Jackie. You haven't been replaced. Y you mean? The Federation is doing nothing to stop Tools McKenzie. And you waited a month to tell me? I haven't been able to find you. After you were let go, you, you disappeared. I wanted to get off the grid. I was embarrassed. I don't know if you realize this, but getting fired isn't a good look. Right, Jack. Time cop. I'm sure it's been difficult, but this is your destiny calling. You need to gather up your friends and capture that maniac before it's too late. He's almost completed his preparations on his underwater hyperspace speakers to play country music in a rock zone to open up a portal back in time, and soon he'll be back in time, when crime was easier to get away with. He certainly made this one look easy to get away with. Because you haven't been there to stop him. What does it matter? I'll just mess it up again, it's too dangerous. So, you made a mistake. You and everyone else ever. Get over it and get back out there. I can't. Why? Because I'm not good enough. Okay, Dad? I will never be good enough. No matter how hard I try, I'll always let you down. I'm not good enough. I'll always be a no-talent, washed-up bastard. Jackie. Stop fucking calling me that. Fine. I'll just go. No, don't leave. What do you want from me, Jackie? You always do this, this push-pull shit. I don't know what I want, but God damn it, I want it. I can't do that, Jackie. I, I can't be something that doesn't exist. I just want you to be proud of me. I just want to know that you're proud of me. Jackie. Of course I'm proud of you. You may not be exactly the woman I pictured you being, but you are good. Okay. You are my daughter, and I love you. Right. And right now, you are the only person that can stop Tools McKenzie. If he manages to go back in time, he'll do irreparable damage to the Continuum. So please, Time Cop, save the world! You're right. I have to get the band back together. Rock Cop! <coughs> Rock Cop, are you in here? Go away! It's your best friend, Time Cop. Oh, no, go away. I'm, I'm sad. I don't want you to see me like this. It's okay. I'm sad too, I think. You are? Yeah. Everyone gets sad, Rock Cop. Not me. Not like this. It's okay. Here. Get up. Okay. Look, I know you're probably pretty upset with me for getting us fired and all. Yeah. But I'm hoping that you can find it in your heart to forgive me. 
Of course I can, Time Cup. You're my brother. I'm glad to hear it, because I've got a plan. Hell yeah, what's the plan? We're getting the band back together. Reunion tour? Hell yeah. Then what? Then we're going to storm Federation headquarters and get our weapons back. No fooling? No fooling. Oh, hell yeah, then what? Then we're going to go straight to Tools McKenzie's base and crush that son of a bitch. Hell yeah, then what? That's it. That's the plan. Hell yeah! Woo! So let's go get our space cadet. Hell yeah, let's rock around the clock. Right. Reunion tour. Rock and roll will never die. Do you see him anywhere? I can't see anything with these lights. Oh, space cop. Are you there? There you are. <laughs> you old dog, we knew we'd find you here. Mm, looks like you struck out. Not out yet. It's only two strikes. Oh, it might be better if we bench you now, though. No, come on. Put me back in, coach. I'm about to hit a home run. I can feel it. All right, you're up at bat. <sighs> oh. You're out. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> nice to see you guys. How you been? Depressed, Depressed I think. Sure. Me too. But we've got a plan. Hell yeah! Reunion tour! Oh, hell yeah. We're getting the band back together and we're gonna go take down Tools McKenzie. Are you in? I don't know, Time Cop. Last time you, you let us all into danger and we lost our jobs. Yeah, but... That won't happen this time. How do you know that? Well, first of all, we don't have jobs to lose this time. Okay, so. fair, but it's still dangerous. That's true, but I mean, we're cops, damn it. Let's go in there and fight, no matter how inhumane it is. But we're not cops anymore. You just said that. Space cop, I'm asking for your help as your partner, as your friend, as your brother. Me too. I, I've come to you with my hat in my hand. I don't know, guys. I guess it has been pretty hard to scope out killer babes without my telescope. Yeah, I'm in. Hell yeah! Reunion tour! Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, Crab Legs, reunion tour! What? We're getting the band back together. Gonna leave Tools McKenzie seeing stars. <laughs> How did you find me? Rock Cop's got a nose like a bloodhound. And let me tell you something, brother. <sighs> you are full of blood. What is it you want from me now? We're gonna go take down Tools McKenzie, and you're gonna come with us. Hell yeah. Why? You almost got us killed! Oh my god, why does everyone keep bringing that up? Besides, I got another job. I don't need the Federation. Another job? I'm a marine biologist. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Water nerd. All right, crab legs, let's go. Hey, leave me be! I'll hang you by your ears! Oh, shut Stop. up! A little to the left. Perfect! Perfect. Everything is perfect. Excuse me. Oh, damn it! Oh, 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 shit, pig! How did he get in here? You were making me move boxes! Would you put that thing away? Mr. McKenzie, may I have a moment of your time? Mr. McKenzie was my father. Call me Tools. Tools McKenzie. Um, okay. Tools McKenzie. I have a proposition for you. Listen, kid. If you want me to take the plea deal, the answer is no. Oh, no. Nothing like that. It's Spit just... Spit it out. I don't have all day. I'd like to join you. Come again? I'm fed up with the Federation. I get no respect there. 
I think I can help you. Huh. And how do I know this isn't a sting? Are you wearing a wire? I assure you I have nothing to hide. Spoon hands, give him the pat down. Yes, tools. Settle down, would ya? Sorry, sorry. Your spoons are really cold. He's clean. I don't know. I still don't trust him. There must be some way I can prove that you can trust me. Break your shades. What? Your shades. Take off your shades, put them to the ground, and stomp on them. My shades? Didn't think so. I'll lock them up. There. Happy? Please let me back inside. It's so cold out here. I don't even want my job back anymore. I just want to come inside. Uh, who is that? Oh, it's Digital Cop. Oh, why is he still here? Where else would he go? Help! Shove it up, your surge protector! Oh, you guys finally came back. I knew you would. Let's all go in there and ask for our jobs back together. We're not here to get our jobs back. Say what? No, we're working outside the law now. We are going to bust in there, take our weapons back, so we can go stop Tools McKenzie on our own. Oh, OK. Do you guys mind if I join you? Mm, sidebar. <clears throat> Okay, boys, what do you think? I don't want him to come. He'll only drag us down. I don't know. It might not hurt to have an extra person during the fight. Actually, it might. I mean, he's just as likely to hit one of us instead of the purse. Uh, we are at rock bottom, though, so I think we ought to take him with us. Okay. Everyone, give your vote. Aye. Aye. Nay. What are you guys talking about? Shut up, dude! Okay. As much as I want to say nay, I'm desperate enough to say I. So, all right, digit. Get over. You're in, digital cop. Score. I won't let you guys down, I promise. Ye just might. All right, that's enough chit chat. Let's get in there, get our weapons back so we can kick Tools McKenzie's ass. Hell, Hell yeah! Storm them, boys! Hell, Hell yeah! yeah! Whoa! Hey! Uh. Hey, Nancy. Um, hello there, Space Cop, if that even is your real name. Uh, it is. So, I know uh, it isn't, so... <laughs> well, anyways, we're here to... So what are to... you guys doing here? Well, we're here to, uh... It's nice take... to see you. Likewise, but we're here to here take, take our take your weapons, weapons back. back, are you? Uh, yeah. It's about time. You're not gonna try to stop us? No. Why would I? Time has proven me wrong. I couldn't replace you guys, and Tools McKenzie is still on the loose. I made a mistake firing you guys. I can admit that. But, Space Cop, there's... There's something I should tell you. The Riddle Master, her and I used to... You know? What? We used to be together. But it was a long time ago. Why? She's evil. No, she isn't. She's just working for an evil man right now. She was always a wonderful person, even though I despised her riddles. Eventually, I had to cut things off with her, though. She was taking shadier and shadier jobs from people like Tooled McKenzie. I offered her a job at the Federation, but her pride got in the way and she refused. So why are you telling me this? Because I know how this mission is going to go. Worst comes to worst. Please don't hurt her. You know we can't promise anything. We'll try. All right. Well, there's no use just standing around. I'll go fetch your weapons. Boys, let's talk strategy. We need to be focused and efficient. No more illegal maneuvers this time. We've got our strategy already, thanks. Oh, really? Yeah. We're gonna march right in there and kick his ass! Hell yeah! yeah! <laughs> I feel like you should put a little more thought into this. Oh, please, Nancy, just let us handle this, okay? 
I suppose I don't really have any other options. But we can't do it on our own. What? I messed up last time. I'm not a good leader. I cracked under the pressure. So we need Dream Cop to come with us. Dream Cop? No, he isn't assigned to this case. Nancy, nobody is assigned to this case. You fired us. So I guess you haven't heard then. Dream Cop has disappeared. What? He's been missing for about a week now. Well, is anyone looking for him? Yes, I have someone searching right now, but at this point, I fear the worst. You don't mean, you think he's dead? Dead? No. What are you even doing here? Time Cop invited me. Oh, do not pin this wait, on wait, me. Wait, if he's not dead, what do you think happened to him? Well, he's defected. Right? Yes. Dream Cop was suspected to be a loose cannon for some time now. He seemed especially upset after I took him off the Tools McKenzie case. So he's gone off to work for Tools instead? I believe so. It doesn't matter. But Time Cop? Dream Cop was our friend. Not anymore. He made that choice himself. I never cared for him. Okay, huddle up, boys. Listen, this is our last chance. We escaped last time, but we won't be as lucky this time. So let's go in there and do what cops do best. Break some shit, kick some ass, and cause more trouble than there was in the first place. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Save the world! Hell yeah! Rock and roll a minute down! I suppose I should apologize. No, stop apologizing all the time. You keep apologizing, but you never change. You're a reckless, irresponsible, rude, abrasive, no-talent bastard, but unfortunately, there's nobody better for this job. Hell yeah! I hope that maniac knows what she's doing. Oh, this is it, boys. We're so close to back in time, I can taste it. It'd go faster if you'd help us set up the underwater hyperspace speakers that play country music in a rock zone that open up a portal back in time. Shush, spoon hands. There's no need for me to help. We have all the time in the world now that Time Cop is out of the picture. How do you know she won't come back? Why would she? What would an ex-cop come back for me for? Maybe she feels it's her duty to uphold? Her? Not a chance. Even if she did come back, there's no way she could stop us on her own. Not when I've got my gun. Please do not pull out the gun. Damn it. <laughs> Just teasing you. Do that one more time and you're fired. Oh, please, where would you be without me? Maybe two steps behind where we are right now. Hey, Tools. We've been trying to go back in time to when crime was easier for so long. What are we going to do once we get there? <laughs> crime. I know that, but won't it feel like a hollow victory? I mean, we're getting away with it so easily. The cops practically stopped themselves. Spoon hands, you, you innocent, naive little idiot. A win's a win, baby. It doesn't matter how you get there. Sure it does. I mean, what's the point in all this? I mean, don't we want to get some satisfaction in overcoming adversity? You're starting to sound like a cop. Oh shit, pigs, tools, cops are here. What? How? Uh, never mind, just get ready for a fight. The jig is up, Tools McKenzie. You're under arrest for time violation. You're under arrest for rock violation. You're under arrest for space violation. You're under arrest for ocean violation. And you're under arrest for digital violation. Hell, Hell yeah! yeah! Come on, boys! Yes! Ah, I can't see, get her up! Shit, again! Uh, oh, shit! No! No! Damn you! Damn you, Atlantic City! Rock Cop! Rock Cop, speak to me! You! You did this to him! Oh shit, my gun! No, Time Cop, don't do it! Don't shoot! I'm sorry! I'll help you! I'll join your side! If you just answer me these riddles three. Oh, fuck this. Ah, oh, shit. It's all going to be okay.
Hello, officers. Dream cop. Not anymore, I'm not. You may call me the Dream Reaper. I can't tell if that's really cool or really lame. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, no, yeah, actually, no, it's right. super lame. Super I don't lame. like it. It's bedtime. What? How are you still awake? You can't put me to sleep, Dream Cop. Not with sand, anyway. What's happening? You haven't figured it out yet? That sand won't work on me because I'm made of sand. What? You idiot. Father Time built me out of the sands of time. Blowing sand into my face only makes me stronger. Justice never sleeps. Time Cop! Avast! Tools awakens! I can take this one alone, boys. Be careful, Time Cop. I love you, Time Cop! So, you defeated my idiot henchman. And your next tools, Mackenzie. Just you and me now. Mano a mano. So it is. So let's fight. Okay. Is that all you've got? You have no idea what you're up against. I killed the dinosaurs, you know. Ooh. How dare you? What? How dare you? I am Tools McFucking Kenzie. I'm a crazy bastard. I'll kill you. What? What's happening? Am I doing this? Have my time powers finally awakened? Maybe I can... <laughs> time resumes. Get him, boys! Yarrr! What? Getting into his bones! What? Oh. Ah. Ah. Rock and roll! Oh. Ah. Time stops once again. You're going away for a long time. Off to the brig with ye. You'll never get away with this, Sarkov. I got friends in high places, and you don't know where my tools are hidden. Oh no, my tools. Tell it to the judge. Take them away, boys. Rock up. Are you okay? I'll be fine. She's only got my leg. Oh, thank God. I was really worried there. I told you there was nothing to worry about. Yeah. You know why, right? Because rock and roll will never die. Hell yeah. Oh, let's go home. Right. You boys did it. You put a stop to Tools McKenzie and whatever sort of crime syndicate he was running. I never should have doubted you. Yeah, I am incredible. Easy there. I'd like to offer you all your jobs back. It's about Rock time! Astral. Well, plug me right in. Anyways, the Federation would like to recognize you all for your effort. Hell yeah! Oh. No? As I was saying, you all fought valiantly and the Federation sees great value in all of you. Oh, really? Uh, yes. Then, uh, I don't know, why don't we talk about those, uh, budget cuts? Mm, some other time, maybe. Now? Yes. Hell, Hell yeah! yeah! Say, you ladies up for a fight? I know a bountiful sea place up the way if you're interested. Sounds rockin'. Bodacious. Oh, that computes. Hell yeah! Let's go! I know now, more than ever, that rock and roll will never die! What 
the hell were you thinking? Honestly, I've been thinking about it nonstop, and I just can't wrap my head around it. You want to know what I was thinking, Time Cop? I was thinking that despite years of service, I never got any respect at the Federation. That I was stuck in a dead-end job that doesn't matter. That despite all of the hard work I've done, I was still stuck in the shadow of your ego. So, it was jealousy? In a sense. <laughs> I'll get you back for this time, cop. Some reunion this is. Yeah. God, you must think I'm an idiot. Sort of. I know you had other options. No. No, I'm broke, Nancy. Why didn't you take the job I offered you then? You know I couldn't do that. What does that even mean? Taking the job isn't charity, it's work. Swallow your fucking pride for once. It's not about pride. Like hell it isn't. It's nepotism, Nancy. What would you have had to gain from hiring me? A damn good head of security, that's what. Good, yeah, right. I couldn't even stop those morons you sent after us. Because I think you knew that deep down you shouldn't. No, I was just trying to do my damn job and I failed. I know you. I know you're not a criminal. I am, Nancy. At a certain point, the lines blurred. It stopped being just about the money. After you take enough gigs, you become numb to that world. You become desensitized. I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it sometimes. I am not a victim in this. I am an active participant. There's blood on my hands, Nancy. I almost killed one of your guys. You think I don't know that? You think I'm not in hot fucking water right now because of you? I'm saying you aren't cut out to be a criminal. You don't have what it takes. You're too soft. You got in over your head and look where it landed you, in time, prison. The only reason you aren't serving life is because I still think that there's a chance to rehabilitate you. Rehabilitate? Jesus Christ, Nancy. I'm a criminal, not a paraplegic. I don't need your pity. Fine. You don't want to change? I get it. Enjoy rotting in here. Hey, I've got a riddle for you. What's self-righteous bitchy and walks around with a stick up its ass? You're as good as dead. Excuse me? You? Won't last two millennia in here. Now that all the action is over, you're probably wondering what all of us in the Time Cop, a rock and roll space odyssey cast, are up to now. Well, I'll show you. The Riddle Master is behind bars. She's serving eternity. Seems a bit too long to me, but I don't make the rules. I just arrest people. Riddle me this. You answer me, though I never ask you questions. What am I? Shut up. Wrong! A telephone! Tools McKenzie, the bastard, is also rotting in his cell as we speak. Good riddance. I'll get you yet, time cop. My father and I are working on rebuilding our relationship. I'm so proud of you, time cop. Stuff it, old man. OK. The Federation leader is in trouble with the board for getting us fired and everything. Just because I jeopardized the fate of the space-time continuum doesn't mean that I'm not fit to lead the Federation. Dream Cop is choosing to sleep through his sentence. Nobody's seen Digital Cop in months. He disappeared the night after we defeated Tools McKenzie. Help! I, I can't get past the firewall! I'm stuck in the mainframe! Nothing but smooth sailing ahead for Ocean Cop. Land ho! Drop the anchor! Space Cop is back to his old ways, chasing killer babes. Hey, uh, Monster Thighs, how about you send me some pictures of your feet? <laughs> rock Cop felt bad for that Spoon Hands kid, and he ended up adopting her. So, who's your favorite rock band? ZZ Top! Oh, 
Oh boy, do I have some work to do. And as for little old me, little old time cop, well, I'm putting myself back out there, getting back into the dating game. I've got myself an evening out planned with Mushroom Cop. I've also started going to therapy to, you know, sort out these daddy issues. Atta boy. Well, we've had a lot of fun here tonight, but we've also learned a lot. I've learned a lot about life, about the universe, about myself. I'm not the perfect person I always told myself I was. Not that I ever really believed that, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that I'm still a badass despite being flawed. My name is Time Cop. I'm the Time Cop. And that was my rock and roll space odyssey. Radical! Rock and roll will never die! Hey, yeah. Yeah.